Hello friends in today's class we'll see the next chapter that is direct and inverse proportion now let us take an example if a car uses 4 liters of petrol to travel a distance of 60 km how far it will travel for 8 km what we are asked is to travel a distance of 60 km a car uses 4 liters of petrol therefore if it consumes 8 liters of petrol how far will the car travel okay so here we know that the distance traveled is the distance traveled is 120 km because that is we know because 4 liters and 8 liters are nothing but square isn't it so 60 km will become 120 km it doubles the distance will double itself because the petrol quantity also is double we know the distance traveled is 120 km because when the petrol consumption increases the distance traveled also increases so both the quantities increase now let us see petrol in liters if it is 4 liters the distance traveled is 60 km if it is 8 then it is 120 km if it is 12 liters then it is 180 km and if it is 20 liters it is 300 km now let us denote the petrol to be as x and the distance to be as y when x increases y also increases this is called as direct proportion therefore there is a ratio between the petrol and the distance that is x by y is equal to constant you have a constant that occurs when x is divided by y that is given by k here the value of k is 1 by 15 what is the constant that is 4 by 60 is 1 by 15 okay so x and y are in direct proportion now when x and y are in direct proportion we can write x1 by y1 is equals to x2 by y2 which is equals to k there is a constant or the, there is a constant when they are in a direct proportion okay now let us take this example the cost of 5 meters of cloth is rupees 200 calculate the cost of 2 meters 4 meters 10 meters and 13 meters now we are given that the cost of the cloth for 5 meters is 200 rupees now what will be the cost for 2 meters 4 meters 10 meters and 13 meters now let the length of the cloth be x meters let the cost be rupees y okay what is it what is the ratio 5 by 200 isn't it we are given when it is 5 meters of cloth the cost is 200 so 5 by 200 is equals to 2 by y2 2 is the cost for which you have to find 2 by y2 so y2 is i will take my y2 here and bring all this constants to the other side so y2 is equals to 2 by 5 into 200 my 5 by 200 will become 200 by 5 when i take it to the other side and i bring my y2 to this side that is nothing but 80 rupees i hope you get it similarly when x3 is 4 then what do you get 5 by 200 is it nothing but 4 by y3 which implies i will keep 5 by 200 equal to 4 by y3 i'll take my y3 to the other side and bring all the other cons all the terms here so 4 by 5 into 200 is nothing but rupees 160 likewise i will find when x4 is 10 when x4 is 10 y4 is rupees 400 when x5 is 13 my y5 is 520 rupees 520 okay i hope you got it so when x increases y also increases with it 
this is how we calculate for direct proportion now we will take another problem an electric pole which is 14 meters high casts a shadow of 10 meters find the height of the tree that casts a shadow of 15 meters now you are given the electric pole with whose height is 14 meters and it casts a shadow of 10 meters you are asked to find the height of the tree that casts a shadow of 15 meters now let the height of the tree be x meters what is it 14 by 10 is equal to x by 15 i hope you get it when we know that x1 by y1 is equal to x2 by y2 14 by 10 is equals to x by 15 i will keep my x here and take all the other values to the other side so it will be 14 by 10 into 15 which is equals to 21 meters therefore height of the tree is 21 meters i hope you understood this now we will go to the next topic that is inverse proportion now what is inverse proportion a, let us take an example to understand it a school wants to spend rupees 6000 on maths textbooks how many books can be bought for rupees 40 each if the cost of one book is 40 for 6000 rupees how many books can the can the school buy if the price of the book increases then the number of books to be purchased for the same amount of money would be less isn't it when the cost price of the book increases the number of books for rupees 6000 will decrease okay so when the price is 40 the number of books is 150 how did we get when the price increases the number of books decreases so there is a uh, there is a ratio or there is a there's a constant value between x y x when we multiply x into y we get a constant value which is 6000 40 into 150 gives me 6000 50 into 120 gives me 6000 therefore x and y are in inverse proportion x y equals to k is the equation over here whereas in direct proportion it was x by y equals to k okay now we are given a problem six pipes can fill a tank in one hour 20 minutes how long will it take if only five pipes are used when there was six pipes the time taken is one hour 20 minutes therefore how long will it take for five pipes so when i uh, this one hour 20 minutes can be converted as 60 minutes plus 20 minutes which is 80 minutes therefore for five pipes it's how much it is nothing but 80 into 6 is equal to x into 5 you saw how you find it in inverse proportion we multiply the two terms so x y isn't it x y is equals to this x into 5 and sorry 80 into 6 is equal to x into 5 x is equals to 96 minutes so when the number of pipe decreases the time taken increases so this is an example for an inverse proportion thank you friends